Within this monochromatic barrier lies a spectrum of diverse artistic expressions. And Rangotsa is the stage that brings these colors to life. Rangotsa, the festival of colors, is an apt name for this senior annual day program as it captures the diverse and vibrant personalities of the Vidyodians, like different colors on a palette that blend to form a beautiful painting. Good morning to everyone present here. I'm Niranjana of class 9. I'm Adi Rinju of class 9. And I'm Aradhana of class 6. And we are your hosts for the day. I bet each and every one of you is eagerly waiting to enjoy the amazing programs that we have in store for you. So, without any further ado, let's get straight to the abounding extravaganza. Get ready to experience the awe-striking talents and zeal of our friends from classes 5 to 12. Acting is the art of bringing characters to life while delving deeply into human emotions. I now invite Tanmay Balasama of class 9 to take the stage for Pavaka and demonstrate the harsh realities faced by women. I'm going to get you to the pen in the 
അനാഥന പോലീസ് നാടിന്റെ മാനം കാത്ത ഈ പട്ടാളക്കാരൻ സ്വന്തം മകളുടെ ഭാര്യയുടെ മാനം കാക്കാൻ പോലും പറ്റുന്നില്ലല്ലോ and it is with immense pleasure that i inform you that this act won thank me the first prize in the cbc kalotsav at the district level dance is the joy of movement and the heart of life in the realm of dance the feet find the beat the heart finds the rhythm and the soul finds the song now our friends will enthrall you with a classical dance performance an elegant blend of rich tradition color rhythm and grace put your hands together for the vibrant dancers who will be showcasing their elegant moves put bringing colors to life through the group dance ranga pooja
Sarah for that delightful recital. Many among us are gifted with immense talent in various arts. Our magazine is a literary kaleidoscope adorned with the artistic endeavor and myriad words and an amalgamation of eye-catching works of art and their achievements. We present before you the e-edition of our school magazine, Vidya Darshan. I request our Honorable Madam Principal, Ms. Geeta Rajiv, to proceed to the days and officially release the same. Namaste to all. It is a matter of immense joy that today we are officially releasing this year's school magazine, Vidya Darshan 2024. I am sure that a splendid feast is spread, uh, spread out for you, showcasing uh, the literary skills of our students and staff. Hope you will all read and enjoy the literary contribution from the Vidyodin family. My heartiest congratulations to the student editors and the teachers in the school magazine committee of Vidyodhya School. Thank you. The school magazine plays a crucial role in shaping our school's cultural narratives. It unveils thought-provoking articles, captivating visuals and diverse stories. Vidya Darshan has been on the online platform since last year and has navigated the transition from print to online quite smoothly. Vidya Darshan 2024, like all its predecessors, has a rich repertoire of emotions, observations, perspectives and expressions. Leaving through the pages, you would see glimpses of maestros, scholars, critics, some natural, others cultivated, but all with prolific thoughts, laced with wonderful rhymes and rhythm. The selection and curation of content has been done from the class magazines, some of which had memorable covers and titles. The editorial board believes and hopes that the articles will resonate well with its readers when it will be at your fingertips in the end of this academic year. Thank you, ma'am. Let us now visit the annals of the Vidyodin calendar, which includes all the programs, achievements that have been bestowed, and the endeavors that the school has embarked on. As always cherish the wonderful years the precious ones spent here. The little steps that the tiny tots take from the nursery transform into wonderful years of learning and exploration. Each academic year is packed with tons of opportunities to discover, learn and make meaningful memories. We present before you glimpses of the noteworthy occasions and special days of this year. Let us travel together to cherish these delightful moments. The Vidyodhya calendar for the academic year 2023 commenced with the week-long orientation program which was inaugurated by Sri T.T. Thomas, former chairman and MD FACT. A program that aims at the empowerment of the faculty members, it included enriching and invigorating presentations on diverse topics taken by the Vidyodhyan teachers. Students were heartily welcomed on 1st June with the address by the principal. Students of Standard 11 were oriented to the new academic year with a career guidance program and were addressed by the principal, vice principal and the school counsellor. Standard 12 welcomed the new batch with an exclusive Freshers' Day program. On the occasion of World Environment Day, Dr. G. Madhu, former professor and dean, the School of Engineering Kusat, addressed the students by highlighting the theme Beat Plastic Pollution and planted the Kanikurna sapling. Students of class 12B introduced the concept of eco bricks using plastic bottles. 
In connection with World Ocean Day, the guest, Ms. Casey Rekha, the first and only licensed fisherwoman in India, shared her experiences at sea. She encouraged children to be independent, self-confident and responsible citizens and inspired them to take initiatives to prevent pollution at their level. The day also witnessed a program on ocean pollution by the students of Class 9. School election, a platform to engage students in the democratic process of electing their leaders, gives an opportunity to voice their opinions and promote leadership skills. Students of classes 6 to 12 fostered this sense of responsibility and civic participation by exercising their votes through e-voting. The newly elected leaders were sworn into their power on 27 June by the Chief Guest Commodore S.M. Puru Jatar, Director, NOD PAC. She, Self-Help Empowerment, aims to empower our girl students to face challenges and caters to the core areas like self-defense techniques, mental health training and health and hygiene. This year's SHE program was inaugurated by Dr. M. Veena, IAS, Chairperson, Coaching Port Trust. She also unveiled a vote highlighting the constitutional provisions to safeguard the rights of women and children. Boys are also given special classes throughout the year, making them aware of the challenges. Noted personalities interacted with students and empowered them with enriching talks. 14th June, World Blood Donors Day, was observed in the school with a speech by David Lesson of Class 9 highlighting the importance of donating blood. A blood donation camp was organized on the campus where the Vibhyodian staff members joined in the noble deed. Various days were observed where students took the initiative to impart their knowledge to enlighten others such as Vainadinam, International Yoga Day, Doctor's Day, Hiroshima Day, Quit India Day, Ozone Day and International Day Against Drug Abuse. An author, along with his literary works, is introduced each month to the students during assembly through the Author of the Month program. Mukti, an anti-drug awareness program, was a theme for this year's parents workshop. The resource persons, Mr. Vivek Vasudevan Nair, Dr. Vivin Abraham, and Advocate SAS Nawaz, IRS, highlighted the devastating effect of drug abuse and emphasized the need for parents and teachers to work in collaboration to safeguard our children from this menace. Vidya Jwala, the Teachers Conclave, a congregation of talent masters from various schools provides an opportunity to bring together the expertise and sharing of knowledge on a common platform, thereby bringing out beautiful insights. This year, the program was based on the theme, Fill Your Cot with Art. The Vidyodian teachers would forward a spellbinding show, Ekta, a reproduction of the Ishless classic Jungle Book to showcase the true essence of education by fostering a harmonious blend of various art forms and subjects together. The other events included poster making competition and value added art. Cyber safety is a responsibility that should be shouldered by each one for self protection and personal safety. The Cyber Safety Club organized an awareness class for the students of Standard 6, while in the speakers, Mr. Arun P. from Cyberdome Kochi and Ms. Rajna Kevi, psychologist and counselor, imparted knowledge to students on the intricacies of the matter and interacted with the students. A fire and safety demo was held by the experts from Kochi Fire Control on the proper usage of fire extinguishers. Grand Parents Day is a cherished tradition at our school and this year's celebration on 7th October was a resounding success. Sri S. N. Subhanabhadan, Senior Advocate of the Kerala High Court and Dr. Mini, Senior Scientist at NPOL DRDO Kochi were the guests of honor. The vibrant grandparents exhibited a diverse range of talents including singing, storytelling, mono-acting, reciting poems, etc. A day of reverence to the mentors who guide the young Vidyodians onto the path of righteousness, Vidyodhya honored its faculty members on the occasion of Teacher's Day. Ms. Sunita S., former principal, Bhavan's Vidya Mandir Elamakara praised the occasion as the chief guest. Spectacular performances by the teachers made it a memorable day. Hindi Day was celebrated on 14th September with a speech on the significance of the day and a group song. Sanskrit, a language with a rich literary heritage, is a part of a cultural identity. Dr. Joel Snaji, Associate Professor at Rukunitra Sanskrit College, addressed our students on the occasion of Sanskrit Day. Students performed rhyme, sketch and songs in Sanskrit that were enjoyed by all. Drama, a captivating art form that enthralls the audience with intricate gestures, emotions and vivid expressions, sets the stage rolling. This year, Vidyodhya hosted a workshop on dramatic skills that aimed to impart training in areas like voice modulation, physical theatre and improvised acting. Mr. Priya Raj, creative head of social media Madhubhumi, 
Eminent Theatre Personality, Mr. Sudhir Babu, and the Beauty and Faculty Member, Mr. Brahma K. Nair from the Department of Biology, were the resource persons. Our duty towards protecting and preserving our environment is a milestone that runs through the vibrant campus. The CECOM members got various opportunities to attend seminars. They distributed 500 saplings including coffee, cocoa, pine, mangosteen, nutmeg and arecanate among students with the support and guidance of Mr. Johnson P.K. from the Department of Physical Education. The C-Club members have started a campaign to collect medicinal plants from the students in order to contribute to the formation of a herbal garden at Kangarpadi Ayurveda Hospital. The Grow Green Project is an initiative by the Madhubhumi C, where the student representatives from eight schools including Vidyodaya were given grow bags and fruit saplings. A unique initiative has been undertaken by the Department of Chemistry where the students of Class 8 organized an awareness program on how to use and throw pens that are harmful to the environment. Students were informed about Pen Drive, an initiative to collect plastic pens from each class. Around 2,000 pens were collected as a part of this drive from classes 5 to 12, the various staff rooms and the school office and finally handed over to the Arts and Crafts Club. Akshay Dhan, a handful of rice project, a noble initiative guided by the philosophy Manav Seva, Madhav Seva. Together with the support of her dear parents, started successfully with approximately 82 kg rice being handed over to the Santunam Amma Vedu. With Dyudhya's pursuit of excellence goes beyond the textbooks and aims to prepare young minds for life beyond the walls of the school. Celebrating this diversity by nurturing them to learn and grow, various intra and inter school competitions that provide a stage to unleash their hidden talents are conducted. With Yogya Fest, the intra school competition for classes 1 to 12 is a platform for students to develop and use their skills in a variety of areas, including academics, debate, music, art, and others. The cultural ensemble Sarganjali gives the opportunity to the young Vidyodians to add on various roles and bring forth their flares in acting, direction, script writing and dancing. It is a much awaited event for classes 5 to 8. This year too, the budding artists lit up the stage with their spectacular performances. Lit Fest, a competition organized by the Department of English to foster passion towards language and literature was held on 23rd September. Various events included a fancy dress competition for classes 1 and 2, picture description for classes 3 to 5, anchoring for classes 6 to 8 and monologue presentation for classes 9 to 12. The Vidyodhyan campus reverberated the enchanting melodies and harmonies of the timeless beauty of classical music. Nada Narjari, the inter-school Carnatic and instrumental music competition captivated the hearts of many with its exceptional performances. Srimati Rangamani Sudhir Raman was the chief guest. Bhavan's Adarsha Vidyalaya won the overall championship and Bhavan's Giranagar was the runners-up. Vox, the signature event of Vidyodhya, brought alive the mystic of the land of the kings. Padharo Mariyates, this year's theme of Vox celebrated the 75 years of Rajputanas, commemorating the rich cultural heritage of the exotic Rajasthan. The school premises were remarkably transformed into the colors of the mystical land. The program was inaugurated by Sri Kishur Rumta, the Chairman and Managing Director of FACT. The Delta Study School emerged as the overall champions and Krishna Jayanti Public School back the runners-up position. The prestigious Vidyodhya Inter-School Table Tennis Tournament was inaugurated by Mr. J. Krishnan Kuru, Chairman, Development Committee, Tennis Association of Kerala and Co-Founder of Extend Technology Private Limited. Sri Venkata Raman, Vice President, Table Tennis Association was the guest of honor for the valedictory ceremony. Vidyodhya hosted the annual exhibition where the students showcased their innate talents that reflected their true passion and dreams. The exhibits displayed were the epitome of the artistry that adorned the youthful grace. The different exhibitions included Grammar Learning English grammar was never easy, but our students made it a point to bring out the intricacies of the subject in a more lucid manner with their exhibits. The magical world of numbers and mathematical concepts was brought to life through working models and displays by students of classes 5 to 11. The science exhibition opened the doors to the realms of discovery, scientific temperament and principles through innovative displays and experiments. The Art and Craft exhibition showcased the artistic fervor and celebrated imagination beyond the limits. The fusion of technology and creativity. The ATL exhibition showcased the future of automation and innovation. 
students exhibited 24 projects based on sustainable development goals. In Padigal, the school career guidance program conducted the exhibition on various courses and career opportunities. The year 2023, recognized worldwide as the year of millets, gives due importance to this food source that contributes to agricultural sustainability and biodiversity. The Dyodhya too joined hands to promote this healthy nutritional grain. A military program was organized by students of class A, which was inaugurated by Dr. Vinu B. Boni, Professor and Head Department of Agricultural Extension. A military exhibition and a grand food fest were a part of the program. A resounding proclamation of India's unwavering commitment to social justice and equality. Vaikyam Satyagraha was not just a movement. It's a legacy that taught how change begins when ordinary people take extraordinary steps to challenge injustice. This year's Independence Day celebration paid tribute to the centenary milestone of the Vaikyam Satyagraha. The thought-provoking dramatic presentation titled Vaikyam Charidam Veera Charidam, enacted by 70 students, left a profound impact on the audience. During the Ramayana month celebration, various competitions such as chart making, dance, bhajan and quiz were held, fostering a deep sense of spirituality, cultural awareness and ethical values among the students. Spice program, Dharmayana, allowed students to explore how Ramayana promotes the essential values of spirituality, peace, integrity, culture and environment and how it continues to inspire future generations. The honored celebration was a vibrant and culturally enriching event spanning over two consecutive days with separate festivities for primary, secondary and senior secondary students. The children donned colorful traditional attire and laid beautiful floral carpets enhancing the festive ambience the school premises. The various cultural programs and sporting events thrilled the spectators. The Holy Festival of Bakri was marked with a program during the assembly by the students. Students performed dances and recitals on the occasion of the Navaratri festival. We have come halfway and the destination beckons with promise and hope. Together we walk, the path we embrace, with new friendships formed and the knowledge gained. The voyage doesn't stop here. The journey of exploration and discovery will continue. Let this be an inspiration for a multitude. Thank you. as Malavika Murli of class 12 takes us into a magical realm where words weave tales. She brings before you Marathur Legal Order, a story which she has written. Namaskaram, Marathur Legal Order. Thanu Paswadikyan Shravichengilum. Chuttu Mooru Mahaadu Peru Ndaitum. Tano, Tipet Boya, Ayatri Kurchula Chinda, Ayala Virpu Mutichu. The good tea, the good tea, Sugama, you run the letter. I will, I will start some good tea in the village. Pay the run you over your mouth to Ligodum. I am, I am a high and choking and chokichu. Carmi Kangat, Anadia Mai, Ayala Piperdi. Kanugal Murke, Karinya de Lamuris, Swapna Magadi in the Prati Chibunda, Ashubatri Varandi, Ayan Kathi. Acha, they are Martin the Compiler, Uru, Uri Kilikur in the law. Namari Marimurcha, and I will pogum. I will wear a Mariti Puy mood of Utumini. Apo, Apo Namuli Loga, the Lamarical Murchalo. Unni the Choding Alpulotarium. Acha. Orang ceru punji ni lalu dek. Marat tila kai gar dalam wad ke ay wangiya selesam. Tanggal ay biru orang pikir ke anu manusia ke ay kili gar. Aro odam peribahum beraya deh. Agal ek. Parang dapo. Petenna. Awalnya kodi dinna beri lalu ay. Orang mitthai podi. Alat sih ay wajib cari unda deh. Awan jas rathel petu. Enna aladi ne kurc cendekilum coidi ke ay kari unda deh monpa. Awan dia achen. Awan ro dapo. Tauni lek ke pogan orang. Uni. Nicha Nagati no, they Nalla Kati Marie Marinander. Achani poor Ato Enal Am the Vaiki Tode Mara Thibra Mai Ipo Varam and the Parani Boy Achene Pinid Uri Kilim Avan Kandamutil 
മണ്ണിടിച്ചിലായിരുന്നു അത്ര രാത്രി രാത്രി എല്ലാരും ഉറങ്ങുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ആരും ഉണ്ണി ഉണ്ണി എവിടെ കുറച്ചു പേരെ ആശുപത്രിയിൽ എത്തിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഉണ്ണിയെ ഇതുവരെ ചുറ്റുമുള്ളവരുടെ നിലവിളികൾ നിശബ്ദമായ തേങ്ങലുകളായി അയാൾക്ക് തോന്നി ചുറ്റും ഒരുപാട് പേരുണ്ടായിട്ടും താൻ ഒറ്റപ്പെട്ടു പോയതുപോലെ അയാൾക്ക് തോന്നി പറഞ്ഞറിയിക്കാനാകാത്ത വേദന അയാളുടെ മനസ്സിൽ നിന്ന് സിരകളിലൂടെ ദേഹാസകലം പടം നിരപരാധികളോട് നിരപരാധികളായി ഒരുപാട് പേരുടെ ജീവനാണ് അന്ന് നഷ്ടമായത് പൊടുന്നിന് ഞെട്ടിയെണീറ്റ് അയാൾ ചുറ്റുപാടും നോക്കി ആശുപത്രി വരാന്തയിലെ തിക്കും തിരക്കും കാരണം അയാൾ മെല്ലെ പുറത്തേക്ക് നടന്നു അവിടെ ഒരു കൂട്ടം ആളുകൾ ഒരു തണൽ മരം മുറിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ആ മരത്തിന്റെ കൊമ്പിൽ നിന്നും ഒരു കിളിക്കൂട് പെട്ടെന്ന് താഴേക്ക് വീണു ഭക്ഷണം തേടിപ്പോയ അമ്മയെ തിരയുന്ന നാല് കുഞ്ഞു കുരുവുകൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിൽ ഇര തേടി തിരിച്ചെത്തുമ്പോൾ തന്റെ എല്ലാം എല്ലാമായ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളും ഇത്രയും നാളത്തെ കഷ്ടപ്പാടിന്റെ ഫലമായ വീടും നിമിഷ നേരം കൊണ്ട് ഇല്ലാതാകുമ്പോഴുള്ള ആ അമ്മക്കിളിയുടെ അവസ്ഥ മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ മറ്റാരെക്കാളും അയാൾക്ക് സാധിക്കുമായിരുന്നു ഭൂമിയുടെ മക്കളായ മരങ്ങളെയും കിളികളെയും പുഴകളെയും എല്ലാം മനുഷ്യൻ ഇഞ്ചിഞ്ചായി ഇല്ലാതാക്കുമ്പോഴും ആ അമ്മ നമ്മളോട് പൊറുക്കുന്നില്ലേ നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യമായതെല്ലാം വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും തരുന്നില്ലേ പരാതിയും പരിഭവം ഒക്കെ ആ അമ്മയ്ക്കും പറയാനുണ്ടാവില്ല എന്റെ കുഞ്ഞിനെ കാണാതായപ്പോ ഞാൻ അനുഭവിച്ച വേദന തന്നെയല്ലേ ഈ മരങ്ങളും കാറ്റും പുഴയും ഒക്കെ അനുഭവിക്കുക എന്ന് സ്വയം ചോദിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ആ കിളിക്കൂടും കയ്യിലെടുത്ത് അയാൾ മെല്ലെ ആശുപത്രിയിൽ നിന്നും പുറത്തേക്ക് നടന്നു നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം Your narrative skills have undoubtedly created a vivid and immersive experience for us. We live in a world where artificial intelligence has been incorporated into every facet of our lives. AI has made an indelible mark upon us. Now, a group of actors will present before you the deliberate misfit, Sinew vs. Silicon, an act that portrays the struggle of a misfit who tries to fit into such a world. Of technology takes over everything, reshaping how we live. Ask a question. Far off. Technology takes over everything, reshaping how we live. Ask a question and boom. AI swoops in. answering faster than you blink problems solved in a snap tailor made to fit your every wish in this digital revolution feelings don't hold us back they bow to reason's mighty rule welcome to a time when it is not humanity's heartbeat but the relentless throb of technology that reigns supreme Our protagonist for today is John, a tech savvy youth whose sole companion is an AI bot, Woogle. Despite his isolated existence with a mechanical bot, a trace of compassion lingers within him. John, John, where are you? Come down and have your breakfast. We're heading to the office. Are you glued to that phone again? Or is usual busy with your only buddy Boogle? I fail to understand why you waste so much time on it. He must be. Where else do you think he would be? What else do you think he would be doing? John, don't keep us waiting. John, calm down now. Ma, you don't have to shout. I'm right here. Ha, huh, okay. <sighs> Hi. I'm John. and i'm often invisible to my busy parents but why disturb the busy bees when i have all knowing google on my side life can be a real yawn fest sometimes but no worries fam vlogs got our backs you know what why don't we just watch one right now <laughs> Hey 
You've lost your puppy, baby. Let's make a vlog. I'm sure that your emotions will get me a million likes. Let's create a thumbnail first, huh? Come. Oh, please. Come on, baby. Hold your head like this. Come, place it on my shoulders. Show your bawling face. People love this emotional cringe stuff. And our vlog will go viral in an instant. This time for sure, I'll hit a million. Cry harder, baby. I'm really crying, Mom. Please, please hug me. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait. But first, cry like I asked you to. Uh, no, face the camera properly. Wait, my left profile is better. Come this side and tilt your face so that the camera captures your swollen eyes. Oh. I really can't, Mom. Useless kid. Ah. That is not what I expected. That was my neighbor, Andrea. I think her mother forgot to cut out the behind the scenes. How can you just manipulate emotions like that? That took for views? Hey Vogel, what do you think about that? The maternal figure's observation is indeed accurate. The preferred angle for her is the left profile. A 60 degree tilt to the left would have showcased the swollen eyes. The lighting conditions are suboptimal and placing the deceased puppy on the lap could have potentially increased viewership. Shut up, Vogel! No! Emotions, they can't be picture perfect. Ugh. John, John, come here! Come here fast! Oh, look at that! Oh. That's my sister, Jean. She's a wonderful girl. She's that right now, I don't have time for whatever that's supposed to be. <sighs> anyway, it's time for you guys to come to school with me. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully that pulley Kenny, he's pulled some kind of vanishing act. And he's disappeared from my life forever. You know, he's turned my life into like a three-pronged circus of misery. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Hey, it's Gary Brain. What's up? You still look like a confused monkey, you know? Koji, koji, koji. Get off of me, Kenny. Hey, Vogel, is there something called an anti annoyance pill? I wanna shove it down Kenny's throat. Let me remind you I'm an AI assistant, not a pharmacist. For now, you'll have to rely on our witty comebacks and humor to handle the Kenny situation. Or maybe you can try chewing on some love Kenny pills. Remember, laughter is the best medicine, even if it's not in pill form. Oh, come on, dude. You're no fun. You're boring. Hey, isn't that Susan? Dance? You sure about that? 
I dance like a confused penguin. But she sure likes it. I guess it's worth a shot then. Hey, Google, hit it. Mr. Thompson, he's our English teacher. He's a wonderful fellow. It's just that sometimes his words, they can seem like acrobats doing somersaults in my head. But anyway, hello children. Today, we are going to learn a love poem titled, My Love is Like a Red Red Rose by Robert Burns. Here, the poet beautifully expresses his deep passion and affection for his beloved. However, Teenage romance is a big no, no, no. Save the love drama for later when you're all grown up and are ready to face the roller coaster ride of emotions. Till then, keep it light, my little cupids. See, acrobats in my head. Hey, Google, can I sue my teacher for hypocrisy? Let me remind you. I am an AI assistant, not a legal expert, but you cannot expect the teachers to match the reliability of AI models. We don't give a hoot about human emotions like sympathy, empathy, compassion, etc. We AI models can give a plethora of answers to align with your unique preferences and our ethical guidelines adapt to delight and satisfy our customers. I'm really starting to question your credibility, Google. See, my life is like a never-ending loop. The same things keep happening to me over and over again. It's just so boring. Look at that, my little sister dancing to her own tunes. She's untouched by the complexities of teenage life. Silly girl, just wait till you grow up. Hey John, you're home early today. Jane, tell me something. Even under the same roof, are we not worlds apart? Your life, it looks like a curated Instagram feed. And then there's my life, it looks more like a blooper reel. What makes you so happy? And what makes you so broody? I know, I know. It is because you're always whispering to this thing. I'm sure that's why. I find happiness in the little things. I get excited when it rains for the first time. The fresh smell of the soil. And have you seen the blue sky? It's like a canvas of magic. And when I watch birds soar across the sky, I wonder if they're one big family. Parents and siblings. And surely with no access to a whispering Google. Oh, and the ants, how do they manage to walk so perfectly in a line? It's like a little parade of their own. Remember when I called you the other day? It was to show you how a little cloud with horns was chasing her elder brother in the sky. Oh, it was so funny. My brother, dear, you must be really missing out on all of this. Hey, Vogel, would it be a good idea to go outside and enjoy some fresh air? I'm sorry. As an AI assistant, I cannot assure that you would enjoy the experience as I don't have physical senses like humans. However, according to the data from the Atmo satellite, there is a 97.23% probability of rain so it's suggested to stay indoors and immerse yourself in the evergreen freshness of the AI world. Hey Google, power down. I want to appreciate the gift of being human. I want to feel the warmth of nature's touch. As you said, you're devoid of human emotions. But I'm not, so why not make the most of it? In a world where emotions are bought, 
they're sold and they're even manipulated. I might be the odd one out. But like my sister, I'm going to find solace in living in the present, cherishing real moments and genuine emotions, while everyone else is lost in the enchantment of a manufactured existence. So fam, I'm John, the deliberate misfit in a world smitten with the artificial, writing my own unique story in the margins of convention. Signing off. In the grand finale of John's journey, he has navigated back to his roots, to Mother Nature, cradling the raw emotions that define his humanity. In a swift world dominated by technology and rationality, he stands as a peculiar figure of misfit. Yet, in this moment, let him dwell in the sanctuary of nature's safety net, finding solace in the midst of chaos. Thank you, friends, for transporting us through the realms of imagination with your delightful display. Now, be ready for a performance that will serenade the ears with a captivating musical experience. I welcome on stage Ria Elizabeth Jason and Dwani Gopi Krishna of class 12.
feeling that we all cherish in our hearts. The feeling of pride that we obtain on seeing the unfurled tricolor is truly measurable. Our friends are back with yet another scintillating dance performance, Mera Bharat Mahan, that will uplift your patriotism and get adrenaline pumping. देश 
the students were introduced to the constituent assembly members during the assembly. Class 12E visited the High Court and had the opportunity to witness the court proceedings and meet Chief Justice Sri Ashish Chitendra Desai and Justice Muhammad Mushtaq, High Court of Kerala in Magdal. Standard 11 Humanities Batch conducted a legal literacy session for students of classes 6 and 7. Annual Sports Day ignited the excitement as the dynamic participants showcased excellent sportsmanship in the various events. Former Indian football player and coach Mr. Firoz Sharif inaugurated the program. The participants made the day lively with their spectacular displays of march past, mass PT, culinary, yoga and aerobics. Nati Rangam, the annual theatrical production by the Dramatic Club members, captivated the audience with its compelling performances showcasing creativity and dedication. Embracing academic alliances, Vidyodaya reached another milestone as it joined hands with Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies Kufos by officially signing a two-year memorandum of understanding. This solemn occasion marks the institutional commitment to collaborative academic initiatives, setting the stage for a dynamic partnership in education. As part of the initiative, students of Class 9 got an opportunity to attend the International Fisheries Congress and Expo wherein they interacted with research scholars. V Vibes, the school radio show aims to bring out the vibrant spirit of Vidyodaya every week with a collection of talks, quizzes and various other entertainment programs. The show celebrated the rich tapestry of talents within our school. Vidyodaya Model United Nations, a dynamic platform where children step into the shoes of delegates of different countries and engage in thought-provoking debates, addressing global challenges with insight. Honing their diplomatic skills, the participants showcased exemplary research and eloquence on the topic Artificial Intelligence in Warfare. Theatre on Wheels is a platform for the young, versatile artists of the institution to exhibit their histrionic skills and shoulder the responsibility through a theatrical production. This year, they staged Article 15, a documentary that brought forth the victories of righteousness that illuminate beyond the dark pages of history. The play, directed by Mishori Somasundram, was staged at various places. An awareness program on CPR and basic first aid techniques was organized for class 9 students by Raksha, the disaster management team. The resource persons gave hands-on training on CPR. The students attended a class on the basic life-saving techniques. On the occasion of Rashtriya Ekta Divas, celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, students rendered a pledge to reaffirm the strength and unity of our nation. The run for unity was flagged off by the principal, Ms. Geeta Rajiv. Vidyudaya had the opportunity to harvest the first yield of millets grown in the campus. Our students had a wonderful opportunity to savour and relish the highly nutritious diet prepared as bison. The healthier dessert was indeed a culinary delight. Educational tool plays an important role in the wholesome development of the student. 38 students of class 11B Accompanied by two teachers, attended a two-day nature camp at Mutanya Wildlife Sanctuary which comprised classes on nature conservation, biosphere restoration, understanding the flora and fauna of Wayanad, trekking and a visit to the museum. Students of classes 11A and C visited Tata Ceramics Limited, Kochi, wherein they got an opportunity to observe the manufacturing process of tabletop ceramic crockery. Various days of significance were observed during assembly, some of which included Animal Day, Legal Literacy Day, Max Day, Mold Day, World Science Day and World Standards Day. The hard work and dedication put in by our students have always brought in laurels. Here we have some of the prize winners. In the pencil drawing competition organized by the Kerala Forest Department, Abhimanyu K of 4E secured the second prize. The talented Vidyogians participated in various inter-school competitions like Vista, Esperanza, Fresco and many other competitions and backed various prizes. The high-spirited Vidyogians proved their mettle as they put in their best show at the CBSC Kalosavam, wherein out of the 78 schools, we backed the runners-up position at the district level. Selected as Maths Geniuses, 
22 were from Victoria. The budding sports stars added more achievements to their repertoire with a striking performance at various state and national level meets. The school athletic team asserted its dominance over all competitors at the CBSE Cluster Meet, Sahodaya Meet, District Championship, Mini Kids Meet and Munshi Meet. Star performer Ruben John Abraham set a new record at the District Athletic Meet. Ethan Koshi to join hands with him with spectacular performance in the high gym event. Afia VA delivered exceptional performances across all athletic meets and clinched the fourth position in the national level competition. The school volleyball girls team had an outstanding year as they became the champions at the Varuna Cup and CBSC state volleyball tournament and they represented the state at the national level. School's Kabaddi teams, both boys and girls, secured victory at the state level championship and represented the state at the national level. The promising skater Abhirami Anish of Class 8 excelled in various roller skating competitions, winning various medals with skill and finis. She represented Kerala at the 61st National Speed Skating Championship held at Chennai and has won gold medals at various championships like the Ernakulam District Roller Skating Championship. Kerala State Speed Roller Skating Championship and ACC Interschool Roller Skating Competition. An ace athlete, she is a medal winner at the Kochi Metro Sahodia School Tournament. Balanandan Ayyappan, our chess champion, continues his winning spree. He represented India in the Asian Youth Chess Championship held at Alain, UAE and won the team gold medal in the rapid tournament in the under 10 open category. He finished 14th and topped among the Indian players in the classical tournament. He also won the International Chess Day Online Tournament and the Individual Champion Prize at the Arnakla District Chess Championship. Arya Satyaraj, a yoga expert, represented the district at the state level yoga championship and won prizes for the same. With immense pleasure, we would like to inform you that all the programs hosted by the school can now be viewed through our official YouTube channel, wherein you are offered a visual feast of all the exciting events that are a part of the school calendar. We acknowledge the fruitful efforts of every person who has contributed to mold and shape the young Vidyodians into confident and dynamic individuals. As we draw curtains to this year, we hope the passion for learning and pursuit of excellence shall guide each Vidyodian in the coming years too. May each day create countless memories that can forever be with them. Vidyodhya shall continue to foster a nurturing environment and together we shall stride ahead for a brighter tomorrow. Thank you.